Hey everyone, this is Lyndon with HTC One Soft Monitor, and today I'd like to show you how to turn your HTC One into a Nintendo emulator, otherwise known as NES. A quick note before we begin this tutorial, uh, the use of emulators and ROMs may or may not be legal in your country, so be sure to check with your uh, local laws before proceeding to download or play any game ROMs. That being said, the first thing you'll need to do is download an emulator and then you'll have to download some games that you'd like to play, otherwise known as ROMs. So there are many available emulators in the Google Play Store. I like to use a emulator called John Ness Lite. There is a pro version, I'll tell you more about that later. But for now, I like to install the Lite version. And with, you can find it on the Google Play Store as John Ness Lite and in parentheses it says Ness Emulator. So you'll have to install that. I've already installed it and I'm going to open it. Now you'll notice that I already have my games uh, loaded here. You will have to download game ROMs and then put them on your internal storage. I recommend creating a separate folder for game ROMs just to keep the clutter off your internal storage and keep it organized. Uh, in the full tutorial on our HTC One Soft Modder webpage, you can see I have highlighted out how to organize your game ROMs into folders on your internal storage. Once you open the app, you will want to click on the folder icon and then it will prompt you to select a game directory which you will find on SD card and I have created a folder called ROMs and then I have created a folder called NES and then just select select here and you should see all the ROMs you've downloaded and to play a ROM all you have to do is select one and it will load up and the controls are on screen this is like you would expect on the NES console. They work pretty well. Uh, you can buy third-party uh, full-size controllers like the MOGA system that work really well over Bluetooth and uh, that way you don't have to uh, keep your hands on the screen while you play the games. It's much easier. But for just casual playing this works really well. That kind obviously uses more of the touch screen than the actual controls. But the games are fluid and they work really well. I suck at this game on the HTC One, so uh, let me load a, another game that I'm much better at. Like Super Mario Brothers. This one much easier to play for me. Some of the other features of the ROM uh, of the emulator, you can access the menu button from the top corner. You can actually uh, load and save states. So if you want to uh, save a particular spot in the game, you can do so. If you want to. Uh, do any screenshots or, or turbo mode or any of that, those will have to uh, uh, be unlocked with the uh, pro version of the app, which I believe is $3.50. Yes, it's $3 and it's just called John Ness. Uh, it does unlock the premium features such as cheats and, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, should you want to do that. In the preferences, there are various options to adjust the graphic setting, audio settings, and, and game input settings, as well as other settings. You can adjust the orientation, lock it if you want, um, and have it auto load. It will actually save wherever you were last at in the game by default, but if you want to, uh, like I said, save specific spots in the games, you can do so with the load and save state features of the game. 
It does work in landscape orientation as well, as you can see here. Uh, you may find it easier to play play games this way, but everything works really well and it's smooth. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or check out the full tutorial on our HTC One SoftModder page. And I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.